Hey guys, quick tutorial on how to use your camera with your iPhone to take pictures. Um, so basically we're looking at your camera that comes with your iPhone, uh, no matter if it's 3G, 3GS, 4S, 4 or the 5, and soon to come the 5S. Anyways, we're going to go into it and you're just going to, right now we're just going to go into the camera just by swiping upwards, so you just have to tap here hold that down and swipe upwards and your camera will open up okay so right now my camera is active so you can actually see the computer where I'm recording at um, I'm gonna point it somewhere else you let's say the me. wall and that was my iPhone sorry about that anyways um, if you guys wanna take a picture you just have to tap on this button right here or you can use any of your side buttons from your iPhone to take the picture. So you can actually tap on the volume button. So let me just tap on it. There we go. And I took a picture. So I just tapped on this button right here in order to take the picture. Um, also, just on your normal screen, just tap on that and you'll take a picture. Now, I do recommend just having your flash off. So if we tap right here, you're going to see those options. It's better just to have it off. They turn out a, a little bit better. Um, only turn it on when you want it to have on. And auto, I wouldn't leave it on auto, just off. Um, also, when you're taking pictures, you do want to place your iPhone sideways. So you guys won't be able to see that I'm doing that right now. But I'm putting my iPhone sideways. So you take um, horizontal pictures, not vertical. They just look better. Um, something else as well in options. So we're just going to tap up here in options. Now you do have a grid. It's just for better composition. That grid that you see on the screen right now. Let me just tap on the screen again to get rid of that. See that grid? That grid you won't see on your pictures. It's just a guide for you to take the pictures. Kind of place your subjects um, just on these lines. It's just some basic composition um, you do want to place a subject uh, just in the intersections from the lines um, so some of you might like that I'm just going to turn that off HDR I'll just uh, briefly explain what it does it um, doesn't really take an HDR image it just makes the contrast and the colors a lot brighter um, in some cases it does make it look better in others it doesn't I don't use it that often because real HDR um, to take a real HDR image you have to actually combine three or six images together and you're combining all the um, brightness and contrasts and the various colors that you get on your image but anyways that's a little bit more into photography um, panorama is something pretty cool that they've done with iPhone and it's pretty good so if you click on that okay so this to take a really long picture so I'm just gonna take it so you guys can see to take the long picture just hold your iPhone steady it has to be vertical not horizontal and we're gonna just tap on your regular button and right now it's taking the picture so you just have to move your iPhone from side to side so I'm just moving it right now and you guys can kind of see so let's say I want to stop there. I can actually go back on it and the iPhone will stay. Okay, and then we can actually look at the picture. And that's your panoramic picture, which is pretty neat. Um, so I'm just going to get out of that. Okay, so that's your panoramic picture for you. Um, to get out, just press your home button. To go back to it, you can just tap on your home button twice. See your camera right there, click on it and then you opened it up again um, that glitch that you saw on the screen it's just the screen it's not the iPhone itself so don't worry about it um, so that's panorama uh, again if you guys want to take a picture of yourselves if you don't have anybody to take a picture of you with the background you can always just tap on here and that's gonna activate your front camera so you know your iPhone has two cameras the front one and the back one so you do want to click on this um, so we're just going to tap on this button right here, which is on the right right hand side. Okay. And that way I can just uh, see myself there. So I'm just going to click on that again. 
okay and that's it so you can tap on that take the picture just the normal way and that's your basics for your um, app that comes with your with your iPhone also if you guys want to make a recording you just have to slide this right here it's in your right side just bottom so you're gonna see the camera and that's your recording so you just slide from the left to your right and you will see that you have everything to record right now so you just press this button and you're gonna start recording um, the video rest is pretty good on this so it will eat up a lot of your battery as well as a lot of memory from your iPhone so it wouldn't take uh, humongous videos from it however I have done uh, 30 minute videos with the iPhone and they're pretty good um, so that's your basic app that comes with your iPhone now you can download other ones um, one that I really like is your Pro MK so I'm just gonna open that one up okay your Pro MK works exactly as you see it on the screen right now the iPhone um, it actually works just holding it horizontal like I told you guys that you should hold your iPhone so you should hold it this way and it works just this way um, so why do I like this one it's just because if you leave your iPhone let's say on a rock or a tripod if you can get the adapter for it um, see this button right here that's for timer you can actually put it up to one minute so let's say you really have to go far away to take the picture you can set it up for one minute <clears throat> so that's the main reason that I downloaded this app other than that it's a good app works easy as well uh, it gives you a little bit more information about what your iPhone's doing with the picture and um, also only lets you well you can take vertical pictures but it does advise you just to take the horizontal ones so I'm just gonna get out from that app right now and that's your basics with your camera for iPhone if you guys have any questions comments please write down here below and don't forget to rate and subscribe thank you